How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial brought to you by my patrons on patreon.com slash Driftwood Gaming. Uh, specifically Toronto Gaming is paid for this one. So um, Corey aka Toronto Gaming has specifically asked for a skill that does a number of different custom things. So um, I'm going to be using a bunch of different plugins to make this work. And uh, let's look at the plugins. Actually first of all let me just show you the skill and to see if it's something you kind of want to learn how to do. And if you like it, I'll show you how to put it all together. It shouldn't take too long. And it's all Yamfi plugins. So this skill, um, we're calling it Toronto Heal. And it's going to heal the user for half of their max HP, apply a permanent barrier, or a, it's permanent as long as uh, the, the HP hasn't been drained, so it doesn't just go away after a few turns equal to the user's max HP. It applies a heal over time effect to the rest of the party equal to 20% of their max HP, but it doesn't put a regen on the caster and it doesn't immediately, um, it doesn't heal for 50% to everybody, just 20% over time. So let's see what we, we've got here. I'm just gonna have everybody guard except for the caster. So we're using a few Yanfly plugins here. So you can see that it healed for half of the user's max HP. He's got 1,000 max H HP, so it healed for 500. And then it applied a, a barrier of 1,000 extra um, HP, which will stack if we were to do it again. Uh, and it healed the party for 20% of their specific uh, max HP. And that will last for five turns in total. So once upon casting, they get healed, and then four more turns. And it, uh, it ticks every time it's the caster's turn. Even if the caster were to die, it should still tick um, through there. Um, so let's just see what happens if we just guard again. Everyone's guarding, and when it comes back to Drip's turn, the people with regen will still get that uh, regen effect going on. And I put a cooldown on Toronto Heals so that you can only use it uh, every sixth turn, it lasts for five turns of regen, uh, but you can optionally take the cooldown off and spam it if you want to, or you can give it more cooldown, and I'll show you how to do it with and without. Uh, and I've made it in a way that it's easily customizable so you can change all of the numbers. So if this is a skill that you want to learn how to do, let's jump right into the tutorial. Um, first of all, the plugins that are mandatory are the Yanfly's core engine, the battle engine core, Action Sequence Pack 1, Buffs States Core, and the Absorption Barrier. Optionally, I would recommend that you also add Action Sequence Packs 2 and 3, and the Skill Core with the optional um, Skill Cooldowns. If you've got those plugins installed and in order, everything should work. Let's make a skill. So we make a skill, we give it a description, we get pick an icon, select the type. Uh, our scope is going to be one ally because the, the way we're setting it up, even though it's affecting everybody, it's targeting one ally. We're going to control everything with some note tags and some action sequence script. So we're giving it an animation. We're going to set this to certain and in the message is up to you. Um, etc. There's a lot of um, the MP cost, TP cost, a lot of it's customizable up to whatever you want to put in. You want to set the damage to HP recover with no element unless you want it to be an element. It's customizable. Uh, this is this first formula is where you customize how strong you want it to be for the initial heal. Um, I was given instructions to make it heal half of the user's max HP with no variance. So I've got zero variance, no critical, and we're saying for the formula, actors, max HP divided by 2, which will give us 50%. And we need no effects, but we're going to do some code. So looking down here, this is the cooldown, the code that you're going to do for the um, skill cooldowns plugin. It's pretty simple. Open brackets, cooldown, colon, space, the number of rounds. The next thing we're going to be doing is putting in the barrier. So we're adding a custom barrier. If you want this to last for only a set amount of times, you would put in a number, like let's say five, and then you would say turns. And you would do the same thing for the closing, right here, five turns. So now it's gonna do exactly the same thing, but after five turns, if the player still has the barrier, it will go away. So that's up to you if you wanted to have it. I was given instructions that it just lasts until it's taken away from the player. So uh, permanent, 
unexpiring is this one, and then expiring, you add the number and turns. Uh, for the custom JS, we're, we're going to set the value equal to a number that we want the shield to be. In this case, I was told the shield should be equal to the user's max HP. So we're saying value equals user dot max HP. And that's it. Really, really simple. Moving on to the action sequence. This is very easy. It, don't get intimidated. We're going to start a setup action. And then all we're going to do is display the name and display the action. And then we're going to close the setup action. And then we're going to do a target action because we're using the scope of one, not all. So we're not doing a whole action here. We're just going to do a target action. We want there to be an animation to play. So we're going to say action animation and make sure that you give it one. Otherwise, this will do nothing. And then what we're going to be doing is creating a new state. So I'm going to finish this action sequence, but then we're going to go and move on to look at the state. So here inside the action sequence, we're going to add a state using specific instructions. So I was told that the regen should not apply to the caster, only to the caster's allies. So we're going to use friends, not users. So starting off right here, we're going to say add state 12. This number will be different depending on what state number you're using. Colon space, here's the specific instructions. Friends, not user. And that's how you target everybody besides the caster. And then if for, if you're using first person, you want it to say those things, you'll do a comma and put in show, but you don't need to add that usually. I'm just, uh, you can if you want to. Then instead of just rushing to do the action effect, we wanted to wait for the animation to finish playing. So we're going to do a wait for animation. Then we're going to actually initialize, we're going to actually call the heal and initialize that formula. So we're going to say, action effect. So every time we type in action effect inside of an action sequence, it's going to do what it sees over here in the damage and effects uh, tab. So when we say action effect, we're saying do the HP recover with no element using this formula variance and critical setting. Then we're going to close the target action and that's the whole action sequence completely done. So we have to look at one more state. So let's go over to the states. And we're going to create a new state, and we're going to set it to whatever number of rounds you want it to be. You can also not have it remove at the end of battle. You can have it um, remove by walking. It's, it's very uh, customizable. Uh, priority, it's up to you. Icon, name, all up to you. Um, select the rounds you want, and let's move on to the note tag. Here's where we're using one of my favorite plugins, Yanfly's Buffs States Core plugin. So we're going to be using a custom regenerate effect. So we're going to start with that right there. And if you want to change the percentage to that the party gets healed, all you have to do to edit this is change this var percentage. So I was told to heal for 20% of their max HP for five rounds. So we've set the rounds to five and we've set this percentage to, to mean 20. So I'm going to copy paste this code. I can't put brackets in the description, but um, what I'll do is in the, the comments, I'll pin a comment with some with the action sequence and the note tag if I'm able to. I think I can do brackets in a comment. So I'll just look in the comments and you can copy paste this code if you want to. So we're setting up var percentage equals an arbitrary amount, however much you want. It could even exceed 100 if you wanted to just regen more. I don't know why, but you can. Um, you can even make it a poison effect by making this a negative number. Or you can keep it a positive number and make the gain HP a minus to do damage. But for specifically what we're doing, uh, to keep the scope narrow and specifics what we're talking about, I'm creating a new um, little you know, name inside of target, a little method, a little function, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to say target dot underscore regen equals itself if it's already been defined or which we're doing those two um, little uh, straight lines, uh, math dot ceiling and inside. Uh, so we're capping it so we don't have decimals here. We just want solid numbers, rounded numbers, uh, whole numbers, target dot max HP times and then in parentheses, I'm typing in the name of the, var the variable, percentage, which you see up here, divided by 100. You could just put the percentage in here, but it's nice and clean if you just have the percentage right there. So we do it that way. Um, don't forget the end line um, over here. Uh, it kind of seems to want to cut off right here. 
and it looks like it's the end, but it's not. You have two closing brackets and an inline. If you if you miss one closing bracket, it just won't work at all, and you'll be you'll be telling me in the comments it doesn't work. Well, make sure you get all of your closing brackets and end your lines properly. Target dot start animation. This is the uh, the code to just play an animation, and you can put in a number, whatever animation number you want right here. If you wanted to, you can change the animation by going. Uh, var animation equals we'll say 45 and inside here we'll say animation I'm gonna test it again afterwards to make sure that that change works but I think it's gonna work exactly the same uh, so now if you want to change the animation number it's also at the top you see how we do that hopefully this is giving you a little bit of uh, understanding of how this is working the next thing we want to do is actually issue the damage so there's a function for that called gain HP we're gonna say target dot gain HP remember to capitalize the H on this uh, and then how much HP do we want to gain the target dot underscore regen that we're defining up here moving on to the next thing we want to show the number like it will gain HP but it won't show the number that pops up unless we tell it to and since we're using this lunatic mode JavaScript so we're gonna say target dot start damage pop up and that's just a regular function that you don't need to put anything inside of. It's gonna, it's, a, it's just gonna execute and start the damage pop up, and then we don't want the damage. We want it to go away and clear the end result and and uh, like we got to do our garbage collection. So we're gonna do target dot clear result, and it's all camel case. So when you start a new word, you capitalize the next one, and that's the end of it. So then we're going to end our HTML brackets. Customer generate effects ends right there. And that's it. Let's look at it one more time. And that's the entire thing. Get your plugins uh, up to date. If your project, I think it needs to be 1.5 and, and past. It might actually work in 1.4 uh, for the engine. But I, I can't guarantee that. I know it'll work in 1.6 uh, plus. So I did make one small change, right? Or a couple small changes. Let's just make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. And we use the skill, shows an animation, heals the user for half, adds a barrier equal to all of his HP, and adds a regeneration effect that uh, is healing all of the users for 20% of their max HP. And uh, every time it cycles around what would be Drift's turn, they should all get that regeneration effect. You see that Harold got 100, uh, Marsha got 120, and Therese got, uh, what was it? I gotta look again. Also, we have our cooldown. But yeah, they should all be getting the right amount. 20% of their max. So what, Ter uh, Therese got 120. Marisha got 60. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I guess it was like a tips and tricks tutorial. But uh, shout out to all my Patreon, all my patrons on patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming. And uh, if you would like to sponsor a tips and tricks video, that is a reward tier on the Patreon uh, right there. If you'd like us to play your game on stream, there's a twenty. that's the $20 tier. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you uh, would like to support me. I have a PayPal. I also would appreciate you just coming on the Discord and hanging out. Your, your time and attention is also very, very important. And, and uh, thank you guys so much for interacting. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it was informative and helpful, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.